What's up everyone, my name is Teja and welcome to another video for this Monday and in this video I'm going to teach you how to go live on Facebook from your computer. Now in this video I'm going to use a software named Open Broadcast Software which, is, uh, which can be useful to go live on Facebook, that is to stream live on Facebook. Well, you can download this software from its official website, which I'll be showing you later in this video. Well, anyway, let's go get started. So first thing you gotta do is to download Open Broadcaster software. So you can visit this website obsproject.com slash download to download Open Broadcaster software. This link will be in the description below. So once you visit this website, you will find three options. One to download installer, second one to download zip and third one to weave on GitHub. So simply click on download installer. And then choose a directory to where you want to store the downloaded file and then click on save. So I'm not going to download this now because I've already downloaded this software onto my PC. Anyway, once the download is done, here is how the downloaded file is going to look like. So just open the downloaded file and give it the administrative rights. And then you will see a installer wizard on your screen. Now in this window just click on next and then read all these license terms here and then click on I agree and here choose the destination folder to where you want to install OBS studio. Uh, to do that you can just, just simply click on the browse button and then you can choose the directory right here. However I'm going to install it to the default directory that is in the program files and then click on next and finally click on install. Now that should install OBS Studio on your PC. So once the install is done, just select run OBS Studio and then click on finish. And then you will see a license agreement uh, thing on your screen. Just click on OK and wait for some time. And yes, you might have to allow permissions to OBS Studio if you're using any antivirus like this. And here we go. Here is how the OBS Studio is going to look like. This is the lovely window of OBS Studio. So in here, simply click on Studio Mode present right over here. Just click on it. And then you will see a screen like this, two screens, one at the left and one at the right. Now in the scenes section, you will see a default scene named scene. So you can just rename it, right click and select rename and you can rename it uh, something like Facebook Live. So select that scene and then go to the sources pane and then click on the plus symbol and then select video capture device from this list. And then you will see a window like this. Now simply select create new here and assign a name to it like let's say webcam and then click on OK. And here you go. Here is myself. Now in the device section you can actually select your webcam. It shows you all the available webcams. So just select the webcam and you can also check out the other options right here. You can uh, set these options as per your need. And finally click on OK. Now we have successfully linked our webcam to this uh, new scene. Now the next thing is to connect our microphone. So simply click on plus and then select audio output capture from uh, this menu and over here just select create new and then type in MIC something like microphone or something it doesn't matter and then click on OK and you will see a new window like this and in the device section you will see all the connected microphones so I'm going to use my default microphone and finally click on OK now we have successfully added our microphone and our webcam so you can actually drag this thing right here to adjust the screen so you can simply drag it to fit the screen just like this and well now you can also add a text to your live video and to do that just click on the plus symbol and this time select text from the menu and over here select create new and then uh, let me give it the name something like te test text and then click on ok 
now in the text field here you can type in the text like let me say this is a live video or let's say this is a test live and you can also change the color of the text by clicking on this button uh, in here let me give the color uh, something like pink you can also change the font uh, I'm using uh, italic font for example and here we go here is our text and you can also drag this text to adjust just like this so that's it we have now successfully added our text a microphone and a webcam to our Facebook live scene now in here you'll find a transition button so if you click on the transition button you will see that your webcam appears on or your live video appears on the right side of the screen uh, everything that is displayed in the right side is going to be broadcasted live and everything that is displayed on the left is not going to broadcast live so keep that in your mind now the next thing is to log into your Facebook account and then log into your Facebook page So in this video I'm going to use my official Facebook page. So once you go to your Facebook page, select publishing tools. And in this screen you'll see an option which says video library. So just click on video library and once you uh, click on that you will see a button which says live so here is the button so just click on live and it should uh, show you something like a stream key so simply copy that stream key and go to your OBS and then click on settings and in the settings window go to the stream tab and in the stream key section just paste the copied stream key and in the service section select Facebook live from the drop-down menu and finally apply the changes and then click on OK now that's it you're all done now finally click on the start streaming button present right here and then it says connecting now go back to your Facebook page and in this window simply click on next and then it should load up like this and here it says fetching video stream so it should take some time meanwhile you can add a caption to your live video like here let me say hey there so once the connection is successful you will see a preview of your live video right here uh, your video is not yet broadcasted but you are going to see a preview of it and you can just click on the go live button the blue go live button to make your video live on your Facebook page so just click on go live button And now your video is live on your Facebook page. Hey friends, so this is Teja and uh, this live video is a uh, part of uh, my video tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to upload a video on how to go live on Facebook uh, video tutorial. So this is just a test live, so, but this is being recorded now. So here is my video being broadcasted live on my Facebook page. Uh, here we go, it says live. So to stop the video streaming, you can just go to your broadcast software and then click on stop streaming. And then go to your Facebook page and you will find a button which says end live video. So simply click on end live video and once again select end and that's going to end your live video but your live video is going to be recorded and it's going to be saved on your Facebook page timeline so that's it guys if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and if you have any doubts regarding this feel free to comment below or email me at anonymoushacker156 at the rate gmail.com if you're watching this on your mobile click on the bell symbol and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video Hit the subscribe button for more videos. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash techcoach156. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash techcoach156. Visit my website at techcoach156.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.